What's up, YouTube? This is Darker Scorpio. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me. It don't even have to be on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, which is Dark and Scorpio on TikTok as well. But check this out because I don't just put out content about shoes. I talk about a lot of things. But today we're going to talk about my very favorite Jordan of all time. Probably next to the Jordan 11 bread that Michael Jordan wore in 96 when he won the championship for Chicago Bulls, which I talk about that a lot because that used to be my favorite shoe of all time because, I mean, come on. It's probably the most important, iconic Jordan of all time. This is just an exclusive, very different shoe out of all the other Jordans. Um, the material, everything about it, the collab with Levi so they've done collabs before with rappers singers other people Travis Scott uh, Luca I got some Lucas he's a basketball player by the way uh who else do I have Jay Balvin so yeah and then there's the Doran Becker collabs uh which I'll talk about Doran Becker just for a minute. When it comes to talking about the legit check on this, we'll speak about the Doran Beckers for a minute. Probably going to be the cleanest this shoe is ever going to be. I want to do a video about the iPhone 15 Max Pro, Max whatever the fuck it's called. Sorry, I'm going to kind of cuss and rant on this video. I, I should do a review on this new phone about how crappy it is, how behind the times it is, and how it really doesn't compare to the... It doesn't compare to the iPhone 8 Plus. Fight me on that. Fight me on that. I will break fucking phones, really, honestly. The phone is takes better pictures, has better technology, yes. The sound is better than it's ever been. The sound is like I'm listening to a fucking speaker. But it's just behind the times. It's not what it's cracked up to be. It's not just the greatest thing ever. I'm sorry. The iPhone 15 sucks. It really sucks. Um, maybe I can, it'll grow on me and then one day I'll learn more about it and I'll learn to maneuver it with my hands. But my hands aren't just the hugest fucking hands ever. And this phone, you have to have fucking huge ass hands and fucking hold it and then touch the damn thing without dropping the phone. And it doesn't even take pictures right when you're taking selfies. All right, I'm done with this phone. Anyways. Back to what I was talking about. Okay, so light does not do this material justice. Pictures, videos, shows this material dark. And this is not a dark wash. The only thing that I can criticize this shoe on is that the color is very deceiving on this shoe. And I'm talking about it being authentic, not a fake pair. Because fakes and and real ones come in dark and light versions i've noticed but anyways this shoe this shoe is bright blue and when you're in the sun you're outside it is bright very bright don't let the color deceive you in pictures do not start matching an outfit before you buy this shoe buy this shoe and then match everything you need to with this shoe because this shoe will look like a dark denim and it's not it is not the dark denim okay now that i've ranted and gotten all that rage out of my frustrations which is just simple things <laughs> we're going to talk about the beauty of the shoe and why it's my favorite um uh, the model, the silhouette of the Jordan 4 is my favorite, even more than um, the Jordan 11. Sorry, I was playing with the camera. Uh, we're going to talk about legit 
as, as opposed to fake. Uh, we're going to talk about the material. We're going to talk about everything about this shoe. Um, I believe was released six years ago. So it's 2004. Uh, six years ago from 2004, I believe it was 2018. <laughs> I'm not the best at math. Uh, is when it was released. Uh, let's look at the shoe box. That cutoff right there is a part of one of the details about it being legit as opposed to fake. We'll get to that here in a little bit. So, Air Jordan for Retro Levi's. Okay. Amazing shoe. It's just as beautiful as a Jordan Bread 11. And this is a blue shoe for the most part. I mean, it has a little hint of red and there's beige there. And, uh, you know, this little beige, whatever, whatever color you want to call that, that's on... The stitching on uh, jeans, this little beige color, but for the most part, it's blue, and blue is not one of my favorite colors. So this has nothing to do with uh, the colorway, uh, even though I'm very fascinated with the blue jean material colorway. Uh, blue isn't one of my favorite colors, but I, I just love this shoe so much. They've been authenticated from eBay. Authentic check uh, tab that I took off, that I checked, that said it was, after I checked it, it said it was authentic. Uh, if this isn't, which I'm pretty sure this is authentic, I'm almost dead certain it is. Uh, and I'm pretty good with fakes and uh knowing fake telling the part telling them apart from each other the fakes and the authentic pairs sorry maybe i just had a long day and i'm just tired and frustrated i just cannot get my words out right today and for some reason i'm just irritable <laughs> I have no re i have no idea why but anyways maybe it's because i stopped smoking cigarettes maybe it's because i don't drink maybe it's because i don't do anything except work and and uh, uh, come home and eat and go to sleep and repeat the same thing over and over and over and it seems mundane. And most people would argue that, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Yes. Program like a robot, just doing what I'm supposed to do, of course. Anyways, <laughs> not complaining. <sighs> Jordan and Levi's are together again using the signature Air Jordan style with Levi's premium denim. These two icons of sport and style huh, reimagine their roots by combining the beauty of the Air Jordan 4 and the authentic heritage of Levi's. Hmm. So, that comes in the box we have code there I'm sure this means something something special as far as it being authentic uh, we do have that have the original price which when we talk about pricing you'll be lucky to get this for four five six hundred dollars lucky because most uh sizes like uh, tens elevens eleven and a halves uh, ten and a halves you're gonna be like looking at eight hundred to a thousand dollars or maybe even more than a thousand 
So, yeah, that was once upon a time ago, six years ago, that the the price was that. And that was... Right there. <sighs> so, we have that. Which is very cool. We have that, because that's where I got it from. And look at the box, it's amazing. It's like, probably the best box out of my whole Jordan collection. All right, so back to the authentic part, and then we're gonna do a try on, and we're gonna talk about uh, colorways, you know, matching it up and rocking these, man, with, with a nice outfit. So, the rights were reserved, Levi's, the circle with the R will be cut off in the Levi logo. If the circle and R are complete and fully round and it's not cut off, it's probably fake or at least the box is, is was to a pair of fakes. So this already right now uh, has a legit price from the for from the legit year as far as when the year was and what the price actually was at during that year. So and then the logo is legit. So all indicators indicate that there's at least this is a legit box all right now we're going to talk about my favorite jordan of all time <laughs> the cleanest it's ever going to be because this was actually wider when i got it i've already worn it once i believe once only once uh it came to me pretty much dead stock guys dead stock shoe Okay, and I'm going to try to keep it that way. I will wear it so the bottoms are going to get dirty, but it's the cleanest it's ever going to be. Now, um, there is shoe trees in here. I want to keep the original form. And we'll talk about the legitness of the shoe and everything around it. It comes with little plastic uh, deals, I guess, what you, what you call it, sticker, cover, whatever to probably protect that red logo because once you start wearing the shoe it will wear off well with that plastic it'll probably protect that so when you take both the trees out you have right side jordan left side levi two brands collabing cool 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 uh, on the inside, nice fine stitching. It's going to be upside down like it's supposed to be. Uh, what else? Nice red tag with Levi's. All oh, that looks good. The tongue feels nice and pretty thick. Not too thick, but thick. That's one thing that you got to check on the door and backers. We talked about that in the last video. Last shoe video, I think it was. Or maybe I released another shoe video since then. I think I probably did. Uh, so, like the Dornbecker's the tongue. Uh, you want it to be nice and thick. You want the stitching to be nice and tight. No loose stitches coming out. Um... One, two more things on the shoelaces, on a lot of the fakes, it's just blue laces and not like a mixed in, woven in denim looking material, which denim has like mixture of white and colors going on in there. And so the shoelaces are going to kind of match that. And on the fakes, they're like dark blue. So, so the laces are good. The stitching is good. Um, 
two more things so we already went through the logo on the box everything on the box looking good the tongue the stitching everything's good on that we uh we talked about the laces that was just from my observation you don't hear a lot of people talking about that on the flight the flight is going to be nice thin uh very delicate detailed letters on the fakes they're going to be real thick and it's even going to be missing a g or a h it's going to be blurred out it's going to be really blurry yeah and even on the levi here that r with that with the circle is the reds going through it it's cut off even like on the legit box that's cool I didn't never even realize that, and I just realized that right now. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. I haven't heard anybody say anything about that, but that would make sense that it would be just like that. Uh, one more thing, guys, um, on this tab here, which look at this beautiful tab, man. I I kind of uh, wrapped it in there a few times because... The way it hangs, it hangs real low, like almost to the floor. I don't want to be having this hit the floor as I'm walking. The flight, nice and uh, thin. So the logo looks good. Uh, one more thing is on this, on the fakes, the pants, and these letters are real big and bold and... The pants are blurry, real blurry. On the reel, they're nice and fine lined and nice and detailed and not blurry. Everything looks very uh, crisp, crisp and clear. All right, and that's the way to check those. All right, let me know what you guys think about these shoes. I wore them one time, one time tattooing, uh, and during that time of wearing them, I got a lot of compliments, a couple of compliments, even from one of my clients. They're like, "Can I, they were like, your shoes are badass, and this was not a shoe person. This was like an older lady, maybe 50s or 60s, enjoyed these shoes. I can imagine the shoe people that love shoes like I do and know Jordans would really be into this. So I even got compliments from somebody who didn't even know anything about sneakers. She even said, let me get a, can I get a picture of those shoes you're wearing? She literally took a picture of me wearing my shoes. That's crazy. That's never happened to me before. Uh, true story. I've never told that to anybody. And that happened like just a few weeks back. So, wow, these must be something where I got people coming up to me saying they want to take pictures of my sneakers, which is very fucking cool. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say about these on the legit part and everything. And, and why I like them is they're Jordan 4. I like Jordan 4s. I like I like 3s and 5s. I like 1s, 2s, 3s, and 5s. I like, I like 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s, 13s, and 14s. I like twos and tens. People don't like those, but I do. But for some reason, I like this shoe. One of it's one of the most, one of my favorites. So, I've seen some uh, Jordan one, some denim Jordan ones, and some denim Jordan sixes, and those are also nice. But for some reason, this they just look so much better on these than all the other denim Jordans I've seen. The Jordan 4s and, uh, yeah, uh, and like I said, the only thing, the only one critique is uh, when I saw the picture and when you look at it on a video or a picture, it looks so dark, you know, and I was expecting it to be real dark and like brand new jeans. And then when I got them, they were like, they look, they look like they were already like washed denim and real blue. They're not like you know that dark indigo this is more of a, a a lighter blue but even in the video it looks darker than what it is so they're just the color is deceiving i didn't really like that but but they're 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 dark enough 
they're pretty dark. They're not like too dark, but they're they're blue jeans, but they're not like dark blue like I thought they were. But anyways, we gonna put these bad boys on. Got the whole outfit right here. I'll check out the shoes. The denim. Matching these, uh, I believe they're 5'11s. 5'14s. Matching these 514 uh, straight leg denim Levi's. This is the closest color that I can get. These are five fourteens and the five elevens also. Got the tag. This is the same tag that's down here on the shoe. This is one of my favorite outfits, one of my favorite shoes, uh, one of my favorite Jordans of all time. The silhouette, the four, and just the colorway and the material of the Levi. These run true to size. As a matter of fact, they're a little bit, there's a little, there's a little room in them. You could actually go down like a half a size or maybe even one size so if you wear a 10 you'd probably be all right with a nine and a half or a nine i wear an 11 and these are a 10 and there's still room uh, some shoes are tight even with an 11 so that's that says that there's room in them that's a good thing so they're very comfortable and they got room they're not snug they're tight like some jordan fours that's the whole look of the outfit. Y'all let me know what you think. I love it. I'm pretty sure y'all like it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned.